Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Lion, Dicey Dungeons, Episode 2, as the inventor. What could the conceit be? Find extra equipment. Start with double equipment and upgraded hammers. Make twice as many gadgets. You have to make two gadgets after each combat. Not necessarily bad, unless by rolling the dice to see which gadgets are even available for a selection, you're forced to pick one piece of uh, equipment that you feel is, I, I guess, like, you really want to have it, you know? You want to keep it forever. Dude, I'm telling you, uh, collect all. I love freezing enemy dice. Pea shooter is garbage. So here's my thinking right now. Keep a pea shooter around. That way, we're likely to have to get rid of a pea shooter. We want to get rid of a second spanner? Like... I don't know. We, we would, we're incentivized to get two sixes, for sure. We'd get double the shock. That's pretty good. Let's see. Let's see how it plays out. The inventor's never been my favorite class. Might as well burn all dice. Um, combining dice is not that good here. Unless, actually, if it makes a 3-1, it's good. That's not how this works. Um, but it really doesn't change the amount of damage done. We basically just got screwed with a pretty bad roll. Let's see how you choose to go about this one. It's pretty nasty. It's a lot of damage. On the other hand, um, you're dead. So that's also pretty cool. Let's see how this goes. Um, we definitely don't care about Pea Shooter. Get out of here. Um, I think out of the other ones, we don't mind losing a spanner, but we really want to keep the other spanner around. That's like, is pretty much non-negotiable. That one's got to stick around. T two staffs collect all, absolutely, but they are, those are big pieces of equipment. Um, that's okay. They make really good gadgets, bare minimum. So does it all dice become six? This would make one six. Let's make two sixes and kill you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just being sincere. Okay, so pea shooter is still garbage. Um, I think at this point we should get rid of a snowflake and there's an extra dice for us. I think we got to accept that to some extent this, uh, to some extent this run's gonna always be in flux. Two swords. Those are very simple. Are they two? Those are two slot. Come on, man. This, this is a problem. No matter what, it, with this setup, we have to get rid of uh, at least one of Hammer, Spanner, Snowflake. So I think we'll actually try something like this and then get rid of Staff and Sword instead. Because I, I really like being able to manipulate enemy dice. I think it's overpowered against a wide variety of enemies, like, for example, this guy, but I took Snowflake out. Um, still freezing one dice, it works just fine. Actually, nothing to complain about. Um, man, these rolls, right? You know what I mean? I don't think there's a reason to combine dice. I actually think we'll just get ready to burn him next turn. Probably won't even lethal. The freeze is so useful. It, it basically makes this guy useless, which is fantastic news. So this time, still use both of these, but this time we, we get a big advantage from Spanner. Um, unfortunately, still leaves us in lo the lurch there. We don't really care about shocking equipment against this guy. I'm just telling it like it is. It would have to, it, no matter what it shocked, it wouldn't matter. As, lo as long as his dice is frozen, um, You're telling me a dice can't be frozen and burned simultaneously? I don't think so. I, I honestly think that's a bug. That's my two cents on that. I could be wrong. There have been some bugs related to locking and, and really just dice effects in general. Give me plasma gun, please. And yes, I will take blowtorch. Thank you. Small equipment, please. Lockpick. Collect all. Absolutely. So what do we like now? Well, I think...
and then get rid of lockpick and sword, I guess. I don't know. Honestly, like, can I just tell you, I love Dicey Dungeons. Certainly top 10 game of the year for me. Probably not top 5, but I still like it a great deal. 6-3. Um, Either way, what I was going to say is I don't like the inventor. Like, kind of at all. Um... I don't dislike playing as the inventor, but I being shoehorned into, like being forced into getting rid of an equipment in order to be gadget in the future, to be a gadget on the next uh, fight, I should say, I just find it kind of frustrating. Because it means to me that you never manage to, uh, you never manage to really like feel stable on a run, which is probably working as intended. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of a hammer in order to put in a lock pick. Yeah. Lock pick plus doppel dice plus banner. We should be able to create a few dice to do things with staff and hammer. Like, I always feel like. I hate getting rid of equipment that we get. It's like in Isaac getting a, an item and then just the next room you enter, it's like you gotta get rid of it. You never, you never get steady, you know what I mean? I feel like you never get steady. Max value 3. So what I like about this is... Like, you can double up on a 1. And then you can make a 6-1. And then you can split your 1 in half and get more back. I don't know how much this actually helped us, but... We seem to be outputting a pretty sizable amount of damage, so... I really... I think I'm happy you're, you went for that one, but I, that might be... Yeah, that was foolish of me. Either way, you're dead. Um, like, so far I have no complaints. Damage-wise, we're, we're doing well. We're not taking... A lot of riffraff, you know, it's going pretty well. We will get rid of staff. And we will get rid of... Um, We'll get rid of Doppel Dice, but I really wanted to get rid of Lockpick instead. Looking for some One Piece equipments, please? Healing Crystal, yes. And one of those will go in here. And dude, I don't mind losing a Healing Crystal, but then we're gonna have to lose one of our other ones, which I hope is Lockpick. I think we really want to buy a surplus of equipment. When possible. Scrap metal basically protects a piece of equipment. I do just want to see... You know what else protects a piece of equipment? Uh, unequipment. So, if we're going to pay two for scrap metal, I'd rather get something that's useful for us. Even though, you know, you get the idea. I think you can understand. So, spanner... I forget the upgrade on spanner. I think I do want to upgrade something. Multiple, many uses per turn, I think, is really good. Yeah, I think I'd like to upgrade Spanner. And then, no matter what, we will not get rid of an upgraded Spanner. I would rather get rid of one of our hammers, I think. And I don't say that willy-nilly, but I think we only have one Spanner, so it's important for us. Uh, Blowtorch, of course, we might as well clone. And uh, four five works pretty nice here. And then we'll freeze one of your dice. Well, that turns it into a one. A one does five damage. Honestly, I think a one is like one of the better rolls for you. <laughs> so I think we just pass turn. I think we can get rid of Snowflake. It turns out a dice. Oh, that was beautiful. A dice to freeze one dice is not maybe that good of an economy. If it did damage as well, it would be a lot better. Dude, duplicating all dice is very nice. So I definitely think like a 4-2 works pretty nicely here. And then... Um, I don't know. You're dead, right? Like... Yeah, like you're, you're deceased. 
We didn't have to do it, but that's the that's probably the way you would like to do it. Um, what do you want from me? So I, I, I don't mind getting rid of Snowflake. I'm glad I came to that realization. And Lockpick. Both Lockpick and Healing Crystal are irrelevant, I think. But Healing Crystal's gadget would be better for us after we've taken some damage. So... That's poor. I'll tell you, we don't really need two healing crystals out there right now. Let's, uh, let's start here. <laughs> Vacuum, what do you do? Dust cloud. Damage and blind and draining health. That's right. So we love combining a five and a three. This will now shock twice, which is pretty good. Why not? Two damage versus one shield? That still hurts. That's frustrating. Um, I don't really think we need a limit break right now. We got blind dice. Let's combine some. Here's my philosophy. Wow, that was low. Okay. Either way, I was going to say, that's going to make two dice. They can't be better than 6-6. Six, six, but one of them is going to be a 6. That one was a six. Could be a five? It was a five. I think we're okay with this. That's another amazing roll. Screw you, buddy. You got you got loaded dice. I don't buy it. Before we kill him, just heal. That's the important thing here. So we love a 4-4. Four, four. Everything else doesn't really matter. Um, well, it kind of does because we need to kill him. I think we like this, actually. Heal for two. Focus. Kill him. I hate to... I guess we could have stolen more of his HR. Oh, we leveled up anyway. Shouldn't have used our ults. So get rid of a scrap metal. And get rid of a second scrap metal. That's a, that's a for sure in that situation. Electromagnet. Four damage plus two each use. So, um, no, this is exactly the layout we want. Um, but we're gonna have to get rid of one of something that we kind of like. I think. I don't know, man. Like, I, I just don't know, to be honest with you. And I still think the upgrade is where it's at. And all you do is just. I think I'm dumb. I don't think I should have done that. Yeah, I don't think I should have done that at all. Um, so here's my new thinking. Let's upgrade an electromagnet. And then never get rid of it ever. But we're probably going to have to have a chance to get rid of it at some point. Unless they give us both healing crystals here. Um, and in fact, because of that, why don't we... Yeah, let's let's protect our upgraded electromagnet, and we can use that for uh, for more difficult fights later. But it's a little it's a little touchy. Like I I did a bad thing. Five two will give us six one. This will give us six three three two. It's not quite enough. Um, so I think we definitely start five four. That gives us two shock. He does have, like... Oh, he only has two moves, so that's pretty solid. Um, doesn't really matter how we approach this, I think. He has three dice. But, okay. Two damage, plus no thorns. The shock is going to keep him locked, which is, like, fantastic. 6 2. 2 2 1. Uh, 2 2. 4 1. We'll just make a 5. Um, so we definitely. We love a shock. We love to hit. And we might as well. Do another 3 damage. Ooh, those are terrible rolls, brother. Never mind. It's not that bad. Uh, with the thorn, he will still hurt us. Because the shields don't block thorns for whatever reason. So we love a 5-2, and we love a uh, hitting him once, recovering 1 HP. <laughs> no, no, no. Recovering 2 HP for no reason, um, and then hitting him again. We're 1 HP down, that's fine. 
Yeah, I have no idea how we're doing here. All I know is healing crystal is definitely... We want to lose both healing crystal and this big electromagnet if possible. Let's we'll start here. You know, put your money where your mouth is. You said you'd rather lose a hammer than your upgraded uh, spanner. Put your money where your mouth is. We need some stuff that does damage. Um, so we have to put Electromagnet back out there. That's a tough decision. I don't mind getting a Crystal Sword. And my thinking with Crystal Sword is... well, the, You really want to get rid of Midnight Charm if you get a chance then. Is there another one cost? No, there's no other one cost piece of equipment. I don't know, man. Like, I just don't know, okay? <laughs> That's why I always feel so out of my depth as the inventor. I, I still think I could not afford to lose uh, our upgraded spanner. I would really rather not lose it, at least. So let's combine 5-4, then 3-4. Everything else is okay. We could have we could have done that better, I think. Midnight Charm, I don't think we're going to get this turn. Uh, in fact, I think we screwed that up something fierce. So this should go here. We should have put the five in there. I didn't realize how important that could be. Anyway, three pieces of his equipment are shocked, and he's got three dice. So four pieces are shocked. I mean, he's only got two pieces of equipment, but... Still, it's the principle or something. Um... We really just want to get maximum value, which is, like, if you combine 4-4, four, four, you get 6-2. Six, 6-2 two. Six, two is okay, because then we get one of these. We won't get to use that again until the next turn, that's right. I don't know about this one. He's going to do 8 damage again, that's a lot. We'll definitely be able, I think, to save our limit break. So we like 6-1 whenever possible. I can't kill you. I can't kill you. I can't kill you. I need something to do with our other dice, dude. Why, why would you use Midnight Charm? That just doesn't make any sense. Please stop rolling a four. <laughs> I beg you. Good sir. An Electromagnet is pretty sweet. It does take some setup, but at one slot, it's not that bad. I think, I think we might be screwed. My main incentive to win, though... All right. Um... Honestly, goodbye, Electromagnet. I, I hate that I upgraded you. It was a big mistake. All dice become six on that gadget. Like, I think it was a, like a colossal mistake. Ray gun is fine. We'll reconfigure our equipment in just a moment. Um, crystal sword is really useful. Give me the healing crystal. Mostly because we need it right now. Um, I, I never feel comfortable with the... Uh, at least as of right now, let's get, not get too negative, but I never feel comfortable with the inventor right now. So I think we definitely want another six. Nope, that's wrong. What you want are fives, actually. That way, you can do this, and you can shock, and, you know, it's not... We, we could have done that better, let me just put it that way. I hate Cauldron in this situation. Minimum four. Burns a dice. Could be worse. Wow, I mean that's, in most circumstances, that would be like really good. It's actually horrible for us. Because we can't use our dice for anything else. That's hilarious. Called in the three. It's okay. Actually got kind of lucky there. Okay, roll another dice. Low, please. 
That's great news. Let's recover three HP. Let's hit you for three, and let's kill you. This feels, it feels jank. I'm not trying to be negative. It just, it doesn't feel right right now. We definitely want to dump Healing Crystal. I think we want to dump Ray Gun. Crystal Sword is kind of, is very important for our actual goals right now. And then we basically are going to create the same run. Um, Snowflake, I, I like having them to, uh... Honestly, I think let's try it like this. Protect Spanner. I like having it just so we can throw it into the pit when we need a sacrifice for equipment. Um, so we don't have Spanner anymore. Very important to remember. Do we want our dice to become 6? I don't know. I'm kind of okay with this being a 4. And then doing 12 damage instead of 15. A 6 for Shock is very nice. And then we might as well odd freeze a dice. I'm okay recovering 3 HP. Okay, so you got very low rolls. You will silence me and also do a damage plus two weaken. Sorry, we didn't need our limit break. All right, Ruka, welcome. Welcome, buddy. Hello, hi. You sleep all day, and then when I don't let you into the room in two seconds, you go meow. This is absurd, meow, meow. Actually, it wasn't that bad of a turn, considering the problems. No doubles, so he's dodging an attack. Did weaken. First attack is a dodge. Luca, don't jump on the computer. I'll be very upset. Um. Come on, buddy. Come on. Okay. Hello. Hi. Um. Dude, I had Ray Gun totally backwards. Why did I think this was maximum three? Pretty much gotta chalk that one up to the old uh, brains going bad sort of situation. Okay, we're still gonna get rid of Ray Gun. And we're gonna get rid of Snowflake. Kinda wanted to get rid of Healing Charm. Um, I actually think we'll copy Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> and thus, we'll get our uh, our precious shock value back. Um, but we don't need to keep two hammers out there for now. I think actually, like this setup is okay. We can we can live with it at least. But I honestly don't know how this run's gonna go. I ha I have no preconceived notion of where we're gonna go here. So Spanner does create six, which is really nice. Um, but we also probably should use our limit break. We could have created one more dice and then used our limit break, which would have been sensible. Moreover, now we can't use Crystal Sword at all. So we basically did that just to shock, which is just horrendous. I don't know if there's ever been a worse limit break than that. Okay, so you lock down two dice. It's actually not that bad, because we can at least guarantee ourselves the six. Do we really want to freeze a dice? It's going to make it a 1. So I don't think we want to freeze. I think we'd much rather just do 9 damage to you and not even use Refrigerator. You still got a 1, but... Turns out it would have saved us a little bit in the end. But hey, that's the, why they call it Dicey Dungeons. Not, you know, guaranteed outcomes are us. Um, I think we still like creating a 6. And then we can just recover one HP. Hello, Ruka. Why you get so jumpy? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. You couldn't ask for a, a, a worse roll for us. Anyway, he's dead. But there's a fr oh, we should have healed for one as well. But there's a frustration there, for sure. Oh, we have a Tomo that would like to come in. Now we get the box drama because Tomo's been sleeping in this box all day. And Luca has taken the box, so now when we go here, we bring up a new box. And then you go, hey, Tomo, don't freak out, buddy. It's okay, Tomo doesn't like the, the movements and the loud noises and the, he doesn't like all the attention being brought on him. Luca, you can't be in both boxes simultaneously. Please move over. Please move into the orange box with Half-Life 2. 
Okay, you can't be in both boxes. Tomo? I'm sorry about this, you know. You know how kids are. Okay, there you are. You go in that box. Come on. Oh, he's gonna fight for his right. There you go. Now don't fight. I'll be I'll be so upset if you guys fight. Just go to sleep. Okay. We don't like healing crystal that much. Gadget is actually a pretty good use of it, and we don't like Snowflake that much, even though we love Freeze. So, I divined that that was a rotten apple. Counterfeit, and uh, at the very least, is more equipment. I think this is totally fine, except it forces us to lose something we like. In this case, we might not lose something we like. It's kind of not great, though. <laughs> Do we want to freeze a dice? Yes. The more we can lower your dice, the better. So we love a five right here. Do we want to duplicate a six? It, it literally... Uh, I mean, it matters, but it matters very little. Let's put it that way. Come on, you okay, buddy? I know he's used to being the only cat on the desk, and that's because Ruka sleeps elsewhere during the afternoon. It's okay, buddy. Come on, you're still... You're still office cat this month, okay? You're, you're both... You're both, uh, wonderful. Breathtaking. There's not really much reason to roll, uh, two sixes here, so let's just leave that at an easy level. If we could keep him from ever reducing our health in half, that would just be... Fantastic. I don't know if it's, it's possible. I mean, the maximum damage we can do per turn is six. <laughs> that's, a, that's a win for me. Um, so, how about this? I mean, it's kind of working. It's not very good, but it is working. And we're gonna heal to full. And then we're gonna kill you. It was a it was not a very exciting fight, but that's okay. Please get rid of Midnight Charm and Counterfeit. We got super lucky. That's exactly what we wanted to lose. Lightning Rod. Discharge. Okay, the more damage you take, the more damage this does. Hey, hey, you. No fighting. You can see, they get your tail out of my water bottle. Why are you, why are you being a, a rude individual here? Okay. How are we going to do this? Well, we'd like to lose counterfeit. But then we're going to be forced to lose something we actually like. So the other way you would play this is just like this. And you're guaranteed to lose two lightning rods. But this also sucks really bad. So hopefully we can make it through here. And I don't want to upgrade yet, because I don't have, I don't know if I have a piece of equipment I want to keep around for sure. We can make all dice six. That's pretty good. Like this is overpowered synergy, of course. But like, it doesn't really do that much for us on this turn. Okay, that's bad. That was, that was just, like, the most terrible roll. Um, using two dice here is very sensible. Because then we can still duplicate the dice. And then we can create more. Um, I don't really care about shock. Seems to me like doing 22 damage is pretty good. No, f no one freeze. Cursed, okay. Whatever. Uh, duplicate all dice. All dice become six. Six damage. Ah, uh, wait. Start with Spanner. Beautiful. You will be killed. We got super lucky. We had incredible gadgets to do this with. Were it not for those, this would have been... This would have been pretty nasty. 
So we want to get rid of both lightning rods. It's not really great to have both lightning rods gone on the same turn because... I mean, I'm assuming it's kind of like obvious reasons. Whatever. Um... We're basically forced to give up something we like here. Counterfeit for sure is going to be gone. I think we're going to give up our second hammer. And then we'll buy some new stuff. We shouldn't have... Eh, whatever. We copied hammer for a reason to give it away later, I guess. Anyway, I was going to say is you usually don't need six shock. But you know what? You, this guy's got... Uh, eh, actually three is totally fine, it turns out. Um, you know the deal. 5-3. Then, duplicate your 6. Your 5 goes here, dummy. At least you can do this. And then, put a 4 in there. 6. 6. It's not 3 shock, it's just 3 lightning damage. There you go. Of course it's relevant. Damage is always relevant. So the shock is actually nice. 1 damage, 1 poison. 3 damage, 1 poison. Just gotta kill ya. very easy. Let's do it with our gadgets. We'll never see him again. <laughs> Have to get rid of counterfeit. And then, again, shock three equipment this time. Counterfeit duplicates all dice. Double next action every turn, though? That might be worth more than crystal sword in the long run. Especially with duplicate all dice. Yeah. I actually think this is where you get rid of crystal sword. Um, and then you can double up on your hammer to, to get incredible shock damage. So hold on. I need to see what our equipment looks like. Let's buy something. <laughs> um, I mean, there's no reason I can see not to at least try buying both pieces of equipment, which we then should have upgraded. We did it in the wrong order. But I got to tell you, our gadgets are very good. What are you? Buster. I don't think I fought you. You got me a little scared. Strong against fire, not a big deal. What do you do though? Lots of damage plus burn. So shock is is. If we can get four shock, that'd be amazing. Um, but obviously that's not the case. Yo, boomerang is way too risky. We really don't need our limit break at all. Well, we could use it. And then we definitely want to get three shock. It's also good damage. And then this is reusable. It's not a lot, but they, you know, to some extent, you're just kind of like, why not? Do I want to do 12 damage to you at the expense of 6 damage to myself? I think so, because I honestly think we might kill you next turn. So maybe this deck actually rules, and rather by that which I mean, or what I mean I should say, is that our gadget rules. So, um, let's combine our 4 and our 3. Do we want to duplicate all dice? No, because I think we want to combine our five and our two. We want to make multiple sixes. I think now we can duplicate all dice. And then double next action. It turns out it's easy. Look, I, I said some not so nice things, but I also kind of believed them. <laughs> I don't know if I had fun on the run, but I had fun once I realized that we came out victorious. And we get to play as the witch next. Should be interesting at the very least. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. See ya!